Okay, everybody, it is, of course, the great and glorious, soon to be famous one day, Nick Dutch, back again one more time to continue my conversations about the attempts to generate anomalous experiences using techniques from spirituality, magic, and all the rest of that fun stuff to see what happens and to see whether there is something which could happen which could possibly enhance our understanding or indeed change our points of views and beliefs about how the natural world works when it comes to consciousness interaction. But I think we got a problem. And that is that what happens is like you go into like a beautiful uh, mystical new age shop and you're surrounded by tarot cards and runestones and crystals and crystal balls and swords and athemies and all kinds of fun stuff and cups and crystals and incense burners and <coughs> part of you thinks like I'm going to get incredibly skint spending money on all this stuff and part of you thinks oh my god I've got to have those things so I can attempt to do this stuff I think both points of view are fallacious and I'm going to explain to you that there is a problem when it comes to tools. Now, you're watching this on a video. So, therefore, you will want to see something visual. So, I tend to get out the Ouija board because you can see something visual appearing there. I've done tarot spreads and rune, stone, rune casting spreads. And so, you can see the visible thing. The visible things, the cards, the stones, the Ouija boards, the athemies, the cups, the candles, and all the rest of that, can distract you. Because they are visible. What you are dealing with is not. So where should the attention be focused? Should it be upon performing a ritual in accordance with one particular person's interpretation and that may only have come from a period in let's say the 1600s when they had a particular thought in that particular way whereas maybe something that's either earlier or later could in fact be much more appropriate to what it is you're trying to achieve or alternatively maybe it's not a question of the tradition and the ritual but paying attention to how the inner state changes when undergoing different forms of spiritual experience whether that is something basic like prayer or mantra meditation or whether that's something more complicated and involved like attempting to do remote viewing astral projection scrying uh invocations evocations mucking around with spiritual healing energy uh creation of servitors and spirits and demons and all the rest of that fun stuff it's all to do with what happens in here okay everything is what happens in here so it's better instead of like if you got if you one of these people who got like a magical diary and you're writing stuff in it based upon like a ritual you've done or this that and the other you'll have to look at your writings at a later date and realize that that is not useful information what would be useful information is how you introspect and understand the curlicues of your mind the emotions thoughts and feelings the ideas which rise in mindfulness uh, the way in which your visualization changes your mood, your state of mind, and reprograms your energy field. The tools are fun. I've got a small selection of Ouija boards. I've got numerous tarot decks. I've got a couple of sets of rune stones and some rune cards. A couple of different types of pendulum, two different types of crystal ball. You know, I've got toys. But these are just tools. They assist you their means of output is different for each device idiomotor effect for pendulum and Ouija board okay uh, persistence of vision hallucination brought about by the crystal ball or the dark mirror or alternatively just intuition and things happening in your mindfulness space okay which our Alfred's Louis constant called the translucid the visual imagination that's that's like your screen that's how you receive but it's also where you create the ideas of the energies and the moods and thoughts and feelings that you want to try and send so where is your focus is it on which subscription kits or is it on your actual as it were craft all right the work that you're trying to perfect through the meditation, the visualization, the preparatory exercises, you know, body scan, ascension, chakras, and so on and so forth. 
that's that's where your magical diary so to speak should be really really written up all right on what goes on inside here your emotions changes in state changes in bodily state changes in mental state when you felt it during the process what the mental state felt like what other things happened during the experience which could add another level of understanding to how your consciousness is interacting with the universe because that's this that's the subject okay that's that's the whole thing you as a conscious entity interacting with the universe sure you might have to look at like your diet and nutrition and how you're feeling medically at the time when you're doing your little experiments because that will all affect it but what you're working on is in here it's all in here okay and the things we steal from religion such as the prayerful meditative states are uh, and ways of attempting to achieve them is essentially the way in which we, we operate on and with the mind dealing with other energies so we can still maintain our transcendental dear skepticism but we can st but, but we need to focus the the analytical parts of our deistic practice upon what goes on in the mind <sighs>